everyone, it's Lexi and welcome to Top 5 Wednesdays. So today's topic is book trends that you are tired of. And I think I was pretty, like, I was happy about this one because I was like, there's a lot of things that I do not like about, like, these are like tropes and stuff that I just don't like. Most of these are specifically, like, centered around YA, um, so let's just go and get into it. So the first one is love triangles or any love shapes. Um, I think this is especially something that really bothers me just because like I don't know I feel like they don't happen in real life and just like especially like I love the Hunger Games with the whole like love triangle with like Peta and Gail well I knew Gail was a jerk at the beginning so that put that to an end so I like it just I think it's just really unrealistic and I think it's done so many times that it's just like I can't take it anymore so they really bother me and I just think they're really unrealistic and they just don't really happen in real life and I don't know why they're so popular but I don't know they really drive me nuts and kind of continuing on with the young love th theme it is insta love this again I feel is something that is totally unrealistic and it's just it's really painful for me to like read from like a perspective of a character that's going through insta love because it's just like they're like they become like so obsessed with like this whole like this person and it's consuming and like that's not how love works <laughs> um so that's really irritating to read from and just like that perspective it's just like so like annoying is basically what it is um another one is when books have underdeveloped adults and this is another one that's ya centered and i feel like it's because like it's like it's told from the child's perspective i feel like for some books in particular so much character development or like like other stuff is like focused more on the kids so when their adult does come into play they aren't as developed as the other characters even like minor characters as well I feel like if the adult has a more significant role in it they're not as developed as some of the other characters so it's really frustrating this goes for adult books as well because sometimes the kids aren't really developed like they're underdeveloped um, and what this is like something I really liked about Big Little Lies when Lane Moriarty because it did have really developed adult like characters and also really developed kid characters and I really like that because I think books need that balance of where like I know like the reader's perspective like if it's for a younger audience like I can understand but I feel like in order for a book to be pretty good I think you need to have an equal development of both kids and adults to be successful. And this is one in particular I think I've noticed like especially now that I've got, got like I'm getting a little bit older now. Um, so I tried to read the Lost, the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. I didn't read the Percy Jackson series and I was like I'll try reading it because I tried to read it over break and I got like 100 pages in and I was just like this is not for me. And I feel like part of the thing was especially like the teeny, teenager like moodiness like no one understands me and that was basically this one character overall and it just drove me nuts. Like I don't understand like I really hate that I think because I never did that as a teenager like no one understands me like like you just don't get me in that like standoffish thing and just like moping in your own self-pity it really bothers me so I think that's why I was just like oh no 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 I stopped after 100 pages of like I could not keep up with this and just like I'm a lone ranger no one understands me I'm gonna stay this way forever like I really that just really bothers me I don't know why it just does and it's just like not my cup of tea and lastly this is another one that's YA center but like the stick thin blonde athletic fighter character that we see especially like with Throne of Glass I feel like there's been this surgeon of female characters that are really skinny and they're beautiful and like part of their who they are is based on their beauty and I don't know that just really bothers me because I feel like everyone fits in like it's like a cookie cutter char female character especially with like YA fantasy and it's just really I don't know I think it paints a wrong picture in girls minds that you have to be this look this way to, in order to act like this or be strong and I don't know I read an article about a series of unfortunate events and how like Daniel Handler whenever he described Violet he did not talk about her hair or like what she looked like she just says like she was fiddling with like the ribbon 
that she puts her hair up in and I feel like because he says like girl like so he didn't want girls to fixate on how vile it looked and I think that's really important that we shouldn't spend so much on the description of how this character looks and like her figure and like all this stuff because it's more like is it like it's important to understand like the character but it's not based on physical appearances so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I forgot to mention that the Goodreads, if you're interested about Top 5 Wednesday, is all linked down below. So if you want to participate in it, I really like it because then it makes sure I get the th up to three videos a week. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!